and hello everyone welcome to your PHP course so let's start off with what exactly is PHP PHP also known as hypertext preprocessor is a popular programming language used to create dynamic and interactive websites, usually meaning websites that they generally changes on the user's input. For example, consider YouTube. YouTube is a dynamic website. Depending on the videos you watch, what you see on YouTube will not be the same as what anyone else sees on YouTube. That's being dynamic. It was designed by Rasmus Lerdorf, I hope that's how you pronounce it. And while many people will say that PHP is dead, nobody's going to use it anymore, just use a JavaScript framework, you'd be surprised that there are still over 800 million websites that are still running PHP. And PHP is still a very popular language to use when you want to create big websites, especially when you use a framework like Laravel with PHP. It is a server-side language, basically meaning it runs on the server and generates HTML and it provides that to the client. It is fairly easy to learn thanks to its high level and easy syntax. It can be embedded directly into your HTML code. So if you have an HTML file, Rename that to PHP and you have a PHP file. It works perfectly with HTML. This is one of the reasons why I love PHP because you can just take an HTML file and throw some PHP in there and you're ready to go. Now you might be wondering, okay, that's all nice and great, but why exactly should you learn PHP? First of all, it's pretty easy to learn thanks to its simple syntax. So you just follow a couple set of rules and PHP is basically just done. If you know any other programming language, you'll fit right in. Even if you don't know a different programming language, PHP is still super easy to get into. PHP is also one of the most widely used programming languages for web development. As I said, over 800 million, if we go back to the previous slide here, over 800 million websites are currently still running PHP. It is insanely popular. And because it's so popular, we're going to jump over to the last point here. There are many job opportunities just because of how popular it is. It has extensive amounts of documentation, tutorials, and communities. Some programming languages has a lack of one of these free, but PHP does not. It has a ton. You just search up PHP and you will find so many things just thrown at you. It's amazing. It is general purpose, meaning you can use it for more than just websites. You can make games with it. You can script with it. So you can literally write scripts to do things. And it has many largely used frameworks such as Laravel and WordPress. Now you might be thinking, okay, what if I want to learn PHP so I can take a career in it? Well, if that's the case, here are a couple of things you might want to take note of. PHP is still in high demand in the job market. So if you want to do PHP, it's still a good thing to learn because of the amount of jobs and opportunities still available for it. It also has the potential, like most programming languages, for remote work and freelancing. So if you want to freelance or you want to work remotely, PHP might just be what you need. And then the salary. Whilst the salary is sometimes a little bit less than other programming languages, this shouldn't discourage you from learning PHP. So the yearly salary here, as you can see, is about 100,000 US dollars. Or in India, you have about 200,000 Indian rupees. South Africa, 600,000 rand. Philippines, about a million rupees. I have no idea what that means. And in the UK, 38,000, I'm assuming that's pound. And you can find more of this on glassdoor.com. 
if you want to see how much money other programming languages make. Now, you should always take things like salaries with a grain of salt, just because the average PHP salary in South Africa, as an example, is almost 700,000 rand a year. That does not mean you will make that much. You may even make more, but it good chances you'll probably make less. So always keep your expectations at a good level when trying to get the job specifically for the amount of money you can make from it. Now here are a couple of interesting PHP projects just to get your blood pumping. So these projects used PHP during development, but they may not be completely built with PHP. A lot of projects are usually built with multiple languages and not just one. So there's of course the popular Facebook, which I actually believe they use hack, which is I think a modified version of PHP, but don't quote me on that. You have Wikipedia, you have Slack, Etsy, and of course, WordPress. Then some frequently asked questions you might have before starting the course. How difficult will this course be? Anyone can follow it, whether you have any programming language skills at all, or if you're a professional programming and just wants to learn a little bit of PHP. You will need to have PHP 7 or 8 or even higher installed on your system if you want to follow this course. Another question that should have been added to the frequently asked questions is what should you know before you start, should start learning PHP? Now, you don't need to know a lot. If you know another programming language, it will definitely help, but it's not required. You can jump into it without needing to know another programming language. Knowing HTML is also optional, but highly recommended. I have an entire HTML course. It's not a big language to learn, and it's not very difficult to learn. It's just that PHP and HTML goes hand in hand. So if you know HTML, you're going to fly into PHP. If you don't know HTML, you're going to have to learn it anyways at some point if you learn PHP. But that's about all you really need to know extra. So you can just decide which you prefer. You don't need to learn HTML, but it's highly recommended. And you might be wondering what IDE or text editor should you use? To be honest, this doesn't matter. When I first started coding in PHP, it was in Notepad. So it really doesn't matter. However, if you want something a bit more powerful than Notepad, I highly recommend Sublime Text. If you want something a little bit more powerful than Sublime Text, VS Code may be your way to go. It's still free, it's still powerful, and it's still widely used everywhere. And then of course you have more paid things like PHP Storm, WebStorm, and then of course you can use any text editor. It doesn't matter really, but here are a couple of options if you want them. And that's that for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and will follow along with me on our journey to learn PHP. And I'll see you all again in the next PHP tutorial.